There is a teaching among religions and churches. And it's to make you feel good. But we have to rebuke what is wrong. Now, we would love to have the happy, wonderful, great, positive thinking. But that's not the Bible. And what I'm talking about now is there is a teacher that evidently in the future, in the end, everyone is in heaven. And I'm sorry to tell you, that's not true. I'm here to tell you that your pets, your dogs, your cats, your guinea pig are not going to be in heaven, but that's another study. If your family, your mother, your father, your grandma, your grandpa, your brother, your sister, your wife, your children, if they have never put their faith in the finished work, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, they're not going to heaven. If Jesus is not their Savior, if they don't have Jesus as their blessed hope, they'll die and go to hell. If they are trusting a religion, they are trusting a church, they are trusting a man, they are trusting science or education, they are trusting anything but God's Son. You're not going to heaven. Because heaven's all about God. Heaven's all about Jesus. You would not appreciate heaven. Imagine Adolf Hitler in heaven with all the Jews. Because the Jewish people are God's people. He wouldn't be too happy. And they'd be looking over their soldier. And at the Bible, Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew... Turn to chapter 7. We're going to look at a couple places in the Bible. No. You can have all the good intentions you want. You can have all the philosophy you want. But the Bible records that there will be more in hell than there will be in heaven. That's a biblical fact. It says in Matthew 7, verse 13, Enter ye the straight gate, for wide is the gate, broad is the way, broad way. You know, broad way in many of your cities and towns, that's the entertainment district. That's the, the theater district. That's, you know, the troublemakers district. Broadway. Broadway is not a way to heaven. Quite opposite. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many, many there be which go thereat. So the way of destruction, the way of hell, many human beings will be there. They go that way. Now, just because you get a King James Bible-believing church, don't you think they're all saved? Just because they get up and get dressed and go to church on Sunday morning, don't think they can be saved. There are some people who go to church not for salvation. They go for business practice. They go to, because they... You know, they're, they're being dragged to. They're going for you know, it. It makes them think that God is pleased with them going. But just because you go to church doesn't mean you're going to heaven. 
There will be people that don't go to church that will end up in heaven. Because heaven, the gate of heaven, is through Calvary. The sufferings, the death, the burial, and the resurrection, which is the gospel, which Mark tells us, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Now read on verse number 14, because straight is the gate, narrow is the way that leadeth unto light, and few there be that find it. Jesus said in the Gospel of John, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That is the narrow gate. That is the way. And Jesus said, you know what? Few go through that gate. The broad way, many. Hell, many. Heaven, few. That's biblical. The Bible says that Jesus will give a ransom for many, not all. For God so loved the world that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life, but not all the world's going to be saved. Because there will be some people that reject him. They rejected him when he lived on this earth. They crucified him when he lived on this world. Think about Pilate. I don't believe he ever got saved. Think about Caiaphas. I don't think he ever got saved. And we read verse 21, Matthew 7. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord. All right, they're calling him Lord. You know how many people say the name Jesus? You know how many people in church? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know how many people out of church? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. My sweet Jesus, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus, Jesus this, Jesus that. The mechanic slams his, his fingers on, on the fist in Jesus. The paint didn't come out right, Jesus. Get angry, Jesus. You sing a hymn that you don't believe, Jesus. You got a Catholic, Jesus. You got a Jehovah Witness, Jesus. You got a, a Mormon, Jesus. You got a Seventh-day Adventist, Jesus. You got a hippie, Jesus. You got a worldly carnal Jesus. And you call Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know how many Jesuses there are in Mexico? Jesus is Jesus in, in Spanish. They named their son Jesus of a Catholic race. But the Jesus of the Catholic Church is not the Jesus of the Bible. The Jehovah Witnesses will say Jesus is not God. Well, that's not the biblical Jesus. So you're going to stand before Jesus one day, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. For he that doeth the will of the Father which is in heaven. What's the will of the Father today? Acts 16.31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's the will of the Father. You put your faith, trust in Jesus, get born again, you're going you're gonna to see Jesus. You're going to be absent from this body, present with Jesus. You'll be behind Jesus, the second advent. You'll be in New Jerusalem with Jesus, praising Jesus. There are some Christians out there in Baptist churches Oh, we think we're going to be surrounded by their church building. We're going to be surrounded by their greatest preacher. Nonsense. When we get to heaven, it'll be all about Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ. 
many, verse 22, will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, they don't even say the name Jesus. You get that? They're at the, they're the great white throne judgment. And they say, Lord, Lord. They don't even say Jesus. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Every knee shall bow and every mouth shall confess. Jesus is the Lord. They are at the beginning of the great white throne judgment. It is their turn to come up. They say, Lord, Lord. They forget Jesus. Oh, they'll put Jesus when they pronounce him to be the Lord. On their knees. But at the great white throne judgment, we will see people that I think God's going to allow them to plead. They're going to say, well, according to this, didn't we do this? Didn't we do that? Didn't we go to church? Didn't we tie? Didn't we? Well, many will say to me that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name cast out devils. They can't even say his name. In thy name done many wonderful works. Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers. Uh, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. What does Jesus say to the religion? What does Jesus say to the religious people? What does Jesus say to the carnival people, to the people that are in car they're carnal, and they, they do things, and they're acting things, and you know, they, they charm snakes, and they, they, they do all kinds of things, and they're not saved. What does Jesus say to them? Get out of here. Go take a flying leap in the lake of fire. If you want plain, simple word, you don't want to hear God say go to hell. Now he's told you in one chapter there's a broad way that leads us to destruction. He's told you there will be people that say didn't I do this? Didn't I do that? I was a president. I was a CEO. I was a missionary. I was a pastor. I was a priest. Depart from me, you work with iniquity. That don't sound like they're going to heaven. So the concept and the idea that everybody goes to heaven is wrong. Mark chapter 4. Mark 4. Verse 3, Harking, behold, there went out a sower to sow. It came to pass as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. Now the meaning of the explanation of that parable is found in the same chapter 4, verse 14, the sower soweth the word, the gospel. The Bible. The scriptures. He does not tell you, oh, we're having a fellowship at church. He does not tell you we have a guest preacher coming. He doesn't tell you, oh, we got a revival in our church. He tells them. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He tells them the scripture. He must be born again. He tells them, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He shows them the, the Ethiopian eunuch how he believes and then he's baptized. He's got the correct Bible. He shows them how. That's where they're going. You got to show them how. You got to get them saved before they go to heaven. 
You got to show their need for salvation before they go to heaven. You got to show them that they are sinners. Jesus said, I came to seek that is lost. You better show them they're lost, not your church, not your pastor. This man goes out, he sold the word. So he's going to be successful, right? And these that were by the wayside, verse 4, we saw broads the way, narrows the way, the wayside. Where the word is sown, he put it out, anywhere and everywhere. But when they heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away this word that was sown in their heart. So everyone's going to get saved? We just learned soul winning lesson of a sower that goes out, and there's more, read chapter 4, but we're just looking at one. The very first thing that shows up when a soul winner is out there witnessing the people, Satan shows up. And what Satan do? He takes the word. I've seen that many times in my public ministry. I've seen at the Daytona 500, I've checked the garbage can, went just about to clean it, I've seen tons of tracks in the garbage. Last week or the week before, I saw someone throw a track on the, on the ground. I had people tell me no. I've gotten into a, into a a talk, a lesson with somebody, and I've seen their wife come and interrupt them. And that was it. It was gone. I saw the Lord, I saw the devil distract. Now they can get saved later, but What if that person died that afternoon? He's not going to heaven. Heaven is maintained. Acts 16.31 Acts 16.31 well, Look at verse 30. What must I do to be saved? And they said, and Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. If you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't believe in the biblical Jesus. You can't be an evolutionist and be saved. Because evolution didn't make the earth. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. You cannot deny the deity of Jesus and be saved because he is, he is king. He is God. Not everybody goes to heaven. And it's even more to say that the Bible says that the Bible says there will be more people in hell than there will be in heaven. 